welcome to Catopia for Chapter 4 of Urban Tigers. For this uh, episode, I think we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to introduce you to Pigtopia, which is a distinct society within Catopia. It has its own unique culture and language, and uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So follow me. Let's head to Pigtopia. Welcome to Pigtopia. Come on in. So the inspiration for chapter four is guinea pigs. This is Luigi. Guido is over there in his kennel eating poop probably. <laughs> they do that. That's a normal thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, Emily has come from a very busy practice to Ocean View where she is a new vet. And nobody wants to try the new vet. That's very typical. Um, you know, we want to go with who we're familiar with. And so nobody wants to try the new veterinarian. She's bored out of her mind. She doesn't really have a lot to do. I know, you know, when I went to see the dentist last week, I had the opportunity to see the new dentist with her new ideas or my regular dentist who's known my mouth for the last 20 years. If, I want, if someone is drilling in my head, I want the person with the experience and the gray hair every time. So Emily is anyway delighted to get the opportunity to actually practice veterinary medicine even though it's for a guinea pig. And she, we all know people who don't like cats, we know people who don't like dogs, and God forbid there are lots of people that don't like guinea pigs. But I think that's just because you know people don't know them and I think once you get to know an animal or once you get to know you know someone who has a different religion or a different color than you or whatever those things don't matter they're just you know innocent little animals they're, they've got amazing personalities and Theodora in my chapter comes to understand that um, she's capable of change and I think that's a really important part of, of being a person and, and uh, accepting different people and different species um, for Theodora her big change came with the kernel. So you're going to have to read the chapter to find out more about the kernel. And also in chapter four, and I, I would like to mention this, um, Frank McWordle in my story is Theodore's um, brother-in-law. In reality, Frank is based a little bit on my dad who had his own um, boat with cancer. And um, my dad was a really good athlete and um, loved animals and was just basically a very kind, good-hearted person. So he had died um, a few years before I wrote chapter four and I wanted him to be in this chapter as Frank McWordle because it was important for Emily to know him too. So I guess that's it for this week and next week we'll see you back in Catopia. Bye for now. Yeah. This is Guido. He's just chomping on some green pepper. You want some more green pepper? What do you think, Guido? <laughs> <laughs>